Just start standing where you feel the best to have some space out in front of you. Maybe you rock a little bit from your toes to your heels, just finding the floor underneath you and just relaxing your shoulders here. And then just settle them in and let's slowly roll all the way down. Just came here. This is your first stretch this morning. Just hang for a moment. Take a few deep breaths. Drop the head. Exhale. Again, release the energy, the tension out of the neck. Shoulders, soften the knees. Draw your abs in as we roll all the way up. You can maybe just swing the arms a few times. All right. Release your shoulders again, pull up into the belly, and we're going to slowly round all the way down. And once again, just hanging here, maybe you move your head side to side, release your shoulders, and pedal the knees, just one knee at a time. Again, just let your body hang and release. Soften both knees, pull up in the belly, slowly roll. All the way back up. Again, just maybe swing the arms. Let your neck just gently move side to side here. Shake it on. All right, one more time. All the way down. Then release the neck. Holding right here. And this time, bend both knees. Just find where you keep your feet flat. Have your chest extended and just find that length in your spine right here and breathe. And then straighten up both legs, drop the head, reach back, interlace the fingers behind you as you stretch your arms up over. Release you. Bend both knees, release the arms and round. All the way back up. Nice. Maybe roll the shoulders again. <sighs> Shake it out. All right. So we're going to walk on out. Do a little series of push-ups. You can go to your knees. I might have to do that as I go along as well. Okay. So here we go. We'll roll it on down. Once you're down, you find your way out to your plank. Again, drop knees down if necessary. Spread the fingers apart. Find that length in your spine, just real slow, just one push up, down and up, hold. Pull your hips up and walk back. So we're just going to build up to five and roll all the way back up again. So we'll go for two. Here we go, roll it on down, scoop up into the belly. Find your way out to your plank. Spread your fingers apart, two push ups. Again, your range, try not to collapse into the shoulders. Use your abs to give you more support. Hang down and roll up. I always find when I'm doing arm work, if I really pull up into my abs, it makes a world of difference. Roll back down, we're going for three. Again, at this point, you need to go to your knees. Please do so. And spread the fingers. And we go down and up one, down and up two, and three. Walk back, get that stretch every time you come back to your legs. And rolling back up. All right, make sure you really get that stretch every time. Okay, we're on four. <laughs> Roll it down. Getting warm already. And we just started walking on out. Find that plank, and we got our four, three, two, one, hips up, walk back again, find that big stretch, coming all the way up, all right, we got our five, here we go, heart rate should be up by now, all the way down, walk it out. Holding into that lovely point. Here we go for five, four, three. Watch the head doesn't drop. Two, one. Let's just go to a child's pose while we're here. 
Stretch the arms out. Give your wrist a little break. Shoulders really pull back and get that stretch in your back. Round up. Roll the shoulders around. All right, we're going into a plank here. Let's come to our forearms though. So let's give our wrist a nice little break. We're coming to our forearms. So here we go. Come on down onto the forearms. Shoulders pull down and back. Pull up in the belly and let's find our plank. Holding right here. Just breathe into it, push down through the ground, find your armpits, squeeze the thighs. And from here, I'm gonna bend my right knee, just tap and straighten. Then the left, just alternate knee taps, real slow and controlled. Nothing else is moving, just the movement of our ankles and our knees. Bend and press, find your mid back, stabilizing you by pushing down on the floor. One more, let's go right into a rotation. Bend the right knee, rotate the hips back, then the left. Just a small rotation from the waist. Exhale as you twist. Exhale, long neck here guys, twist. Exhale, again. One more, right and left, twist. Twist, set the knees down, find your child's pose. What works for you, stretching out your back, your wrist, your shoulders, whatever your body needs, and coming right back up. All right, come to all fours for a moment. So we're right here, press down into the mat. From here, I'm just gonna take my right foot in between my hands. So bring it on up, however you get there, okay? And once it's done, I'm gonna walk it actually a little bit more forward. So it looks like a longer angle. And then press into it. So I get an opening in the front of the left hip. Curl the toes under onto your left foot. Hold into this. You can come up to the fingertips and then extend the left leg. So I'm in this nice long plank position. Shoulders are drawn back. I'm trying to lift body up off the thigh and support yourself using the right leg but we're still getting a nice opening through the pelvis here. Elongate through the chest as well. Pull up into the belly. From here, fingertips slight. I'm gonna start to bring my left foot in a little bit. So now I'm really weighted into the left leg. From here, bring, I'm sorry, right leg. Left in and tap back. Left, tap, left. Light fingers on the mat. If you want it harder, bring the hands up, and that's going to be a whole lot more stability, okay, and challenge. Four, your choice. Three, two, one. Hold the leg back, bend the left knee, squeeze your inner thighs, slowly come up to a full lunge, but both knees are bent. Tuck your tail, readjust where you need for your body, squeeze the inner thighs, from here, reach the arms up, shoulders are down. I'm just gonna sink down a little and up, not very big. Pressing down through the right foot, abs are in, shoulders are drawn down, down and up. Four, three, two, one, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, stay here. Take the hands back, elbows in. Squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Ring out your waist, find your inner thighs, your waist. Pelvic floor is gonna assist you on these rotations. Exhale. I find the more I squeeze my inner thighs, the better. Two more, exhale. One more, hold the twist and pulse the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time, eight, back to center. Bring the arms up, fold into it. Stretch the left leg out, find that full lunge, set the knee down. Stretch back the right leg. Push down through the foot. Don't flex your foot on this. Let's push down and feel that nice stretch in the front of the foot. And then pull the hip back and find that hamstring 
a little bit in the glute as well. Stretch for just a quick moment. All right, slide that leg in. Let's bring the left leg up. Walk it out a little bit. Find your stretch or opening into the right hip. And always be mindful, knee, heel, or 90 degrees. No matter what you're doing, you want to find that angle, right, to protect our knee. And just find that stretch from when I curl the toes under onto the right foot. When you're ready, extend the right leg, squeeze your right butt, tuck tuck the toes. Again, fingertip it. Try to not rest on your thigh with your chest. Try to pull yourself up a little bit and just hold. I'm going to bring my right leg a little forward so I'm more into that left. Right becomes light. We're going to tap it in. One, two, three. You can hover. Four, a lot harder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back, but not all the way. Both knees bent. Look down. Make sure they're lined up with your hips. Bring your torso up. Right? We want our feet hip on distance apart when we do lunges, tuck our tail. Unless we're doing curtsy lunges, right? Squeeze your bottom, reach the arms up, shoulders plug down and just down and up. Little presses, push through the front leg, draw the abs in, down and up. Four more, three, two, hold it here guys, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. Again, tuck your tail. Find that energy in our thighs. Hands back. We're finding our twist now to the left. Exhale, we twist left. Squeeze in our hands. Back to center. Exhale, twist. Back to center. Again, bring it up. Squeeze your inner thighs. If you're trying to squeeze a ball right up there, you're going to help you. Exhale. Take your time on these two more. Make sure you breathe into it. One more, we're holding here. Hold, pulse legs. One, two, three, abs in. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to center, stretch the arms up. Come on down, set the right knee down. Press back, push down through the left foot. Don't let the toes lift. Really push down, pull the hip back. So I'm not sitting down and flexing my foot. I'm going to push down and pull that hip back and feel that oppositional stretch here. And breathe. And hold. <laughs> All right. Come back to that bent knee. Straighten out the right leg. You're going to step the right foot up to the left. Lengthen down. Fold in. Get a nice stretch. Pedal the knees. Round. All the way back. Up. So a little bit more standing. Okay. Getting warm. <laughs> Time for the hair to go back. All right. So standing here, have the feet again, hip bump distance. Take your rods back a little bit. Might be able to see me there. Okay. Take, I'm going to start on my hard leg. I'm going to get the right foot forward and then just tap back your left. Both legs are straight. We don't want to have buckled knees. Long legs. The right leg, ideally, I do want a soft knee. You're not bent, you're just soft. Okay. From here, arms are just resting to the side. Think of a teeter totter. So as my chest goes down, flat back though, you're not grounding, the left leg is going to come up. My arms are just my little, I don't know, fulcrum point, right? <laughs> They're just kind of going with me to balance me a little bit. Right? They're just hanging. And then back. Soften right knee, just find that little hinge. Think of a teeter totter. So, wherever my upper body goes, the left leg is going with it. I'm not trying to let my leg go higher than my body. All right? Trying to move them together. And again, is this your strong side or your weaker side? Like I said, this is my weaker side. So, a lot more challenging. Really have to focus. You know, when we do have this more challenging side, to really focus on where you're moving from, right? It's not as easy. It's not just second nature, right? But that's how we build up our strength. We have to really focus on get, engaging the correct muscles, right? We're going to hold. Find where you can hold. 
Let the arms relax. Maybe bend and straighten the right knee a couple times. Just baby, please. Not very big. Third time knee. Just as far as my ankle allows. Two more. One more. Hold. Pulse left leg. One. Two. Release the shoulders. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Come all the way up. Release it. Shake it out. Ooh, hi. Good morning, right leg. Yes. All right. Other side. Here we go. Find that lift. Find that length in your body. Try not to collapse. We collapse down. We are not working our core whatsoever and not building that strength. Right leg is back. Both legs very straight. Squeeze the inner thighs here, guys. Soften left knee a little bit. Okay? Ooh, I feel it quivering already. <laughs> here we go. Find that little hinge. And back up. Maybe this one goes a little further. Maybe it doesn't. That's okay. No judgment. Okay. Maybe your foot is wiggling around. That's okay. Right? Our ankle is really trying to stabilize us. Right? We have to work it for fall prevention. Even if we don't think, oh, I might fall. Right? Yeah. It is a reality. Right? That we lose our balance age 30, so you got to work it all the time. Again. Couple more. Ooh, I feel the quivers. You guys feel the quivers? I sure hope so, or is it just me? Because <laughs> I haven't done much all week. <laughs> One more time. Hold it. Hold maybe a little bitty play in that left knee for five. Four, feel that ankle. Three, watch the knee. I know it kind of moves around. One more hold. Shoulders relax, pulse right leg. One, two, abs in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it up. Yes, you're going to feel your ankle. Yes, you're going to feel your calves. Right? They're helping, they're stabilizing. But I surely hope you were feeling the back of those legs working. Right? And hopefully feeling a little bit of that quiver, because I know I was. All right, have a little stand. Let's do a nice roll down, get a little stretch. Just be careful, because that was a lot. Round down, bind it, bend, extend. Get that nice stretch. Maybe pedal the knees. I don't know about you, but that felt pretty good. <laughs> All right, bend the knees, plant your hands down. Let's find a little down dog or upstretch position. So again, it might not be a big one right off the bat. That's okay. Let's start to curl our knees a little bit and just find the stretch in the calves, right? We just really worked our limbs here, our lower limbs. So let's get some nice little movement. Release the neck and shoulders. Push your mat forward and feel the shoulders pull down and back and the neck almost get longer. Now just settle your feet. It's okay if your heels don't touch the ground. Mine don't. Totally fine. Okay, pull up into the belly. Make sure if you're looking at your feet, they're like an inch apart. They're not very far. From here, draw the abs and bring the right leg up a little bit. Point the foot. We're just going to pull the knee in as you come forward. And press it back. Five of these, guys. Exhale. Get your left leg very straight. Pull up from the kneecap on the left leg. Pull up into the belly, drawing our shoulders back. Two more. One more. Pull the leg back. We can set it down if you need to. We're going to do our little tricep down dog push ups. Bend the elbows to the ground and up. If the forearms are going down, like we're going to do a forearm plank, readjust. If you need to walk your hands back a little, right? You can also bend that left knee. If this is too much, or put both feet down. Three more, two, one. Replace your right foot. Let's walk our hands back first. Hang down, get a stretch, and it was a lot in that left leg too. And slowly roll back up, get your bearings. Going back to the down dog, other leg, here we go. Roll it down, take your time. Right, you get a little 
lightheaded sometimes when we come up, so be careful. Find your little down doggy, upstretch position. Bring the feet closer, they move apart. Shoulders draw down, pull up in the belly. Left leg floats up, not very high. Here we go, point the left foot, we pull the left knee in, and push it back. Okay, so it's a three-legged down dog to a three-legged plank. Right, so we are moving from our lats to pull us forward. Feel like you're pulling your mat into you as you reach your chest forward. One more time. Exhale. Pull the leg back. Okay, shoulders are down. Let's find those triceps again. Bending up. You can put the left foot down if necessary. It is a lot of work still in that right leg. Keep the hips square here, guys. So don't let your left leg lift so high. Four, long neck, three, two, one, set your left foot down, stay here a moment, plug your shoulders, bend the elbows where you can hold them and pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stretch, and come to your knees. Stretch it on back a moment again, round up where you need it, Find your stretch, coming all the way up, and then roll shoulders. All right, one more thing here <laughs> before we come down on our back. All right, come on to all fours here, hands and knees. Push the floor away from you, curl your toes under. So feel grounded into the ground. Try to really get all the toes down. What happens a lot of times is we start to forget about the pinky or the big toe even, and we really want to try to get that flexion. I know that's really hard to do. And uh, you can even press back and try to really work onto the flexion in the toes, building up to coming up and sitting this way with the toes. I know if you have knee issues, it's kind of hard to do that, but maybe in this position, it's not so bad, okay? All right, here we go. On all four, shoulders are down. Exhale, pull up in the belly, just that little Mini cat, stretch out the low back, inhale, extend. Again, draw the abs in and extend. Two more, exhale, mini cat, pull up in the belly and back, light knees. We're going to be lifting up in a sec. All right, then lift those knees up, exhale, pull up in the belly, lift the knees and then set it down. Again, pulling straight up, not leaning forward, not leaning back, so feel equal weight in the hands and the feet. And back, exhale, let's go three. And back, abs are in for two. And back, one more time, hold up on one, let's just hold one, long arms, two, suck in the belly, three. Squeeze the inner thigh, so watch you're not rolling your feet out. Four, three, two, one, set the knees down. Shake out your feet. Again, you might have been filling your toes a whole bunch, right? That's okay. All right, so we're gonna go through. Let's come around and have a seat. We're gonna bust out nice little abs series, all right? So uh, some of us call it vacation special, series of five. I think I have more than five exercises, so I think it might be six. That's okay, all right? So. Let's do it. Here we go. Arms are up, chest up. As we roll down, draw the belly in to pull you down. Try to get that rounding from the pelvis. Ready? You gotta tuck your butt under to get down and squeeze your butt. Okay. Let's go all the way down. Reaching the arms back. Keep the integrity of your ribs and upper body. It's not a break right here. This is work. Squeeze on the armpits. Okay, from your Inhale, lift your head and shoulders, reach the arms, hold. Almost even push into your thighs and find that nice squeeze in from your lats and armpits to get yourself up, okay? Once we're here, hands back behind your head. Right leg comes to tabletop. Left leg comes to meet it. Anchor your hips. Flex the feet. Exhale, extend the left leg out. Bend it in. And right. And let through the majority of these exercises. If you need to put your head down, please do so. The only one is the twist that you have to have your head up. All the other exercises 
head can go down, right? One more time, each leg. Hold it in, point your toes, hands on the knees, pull yourself up, anchor tailbone. Inhale, both legs out, arms out. Exhale, circle, bring it in for double leg stretch. Inhale, exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, now as I pull my knees in, I push my butt down using my abs. So feeling that opposition of holding and pressing and making your belly press down into the ground. Rather than thinking I'm pushing my back, push your belly down. One more, hold here, get yourself up. Hands back, extend the legs up, double straight leg. Inhale, lower down, exhale up. I don't care how low you go. Hands can go underneath your pelvis if you need a little support. You can always go to bent knees here. What works for me is as my legs go down, I squeeze my butt and inner thighs, and I find I can actually go further, takes it out on my back, puts it in my abs, last three, and two, one more, and one. Bend the knees, flex the feet, we're going into a twist. Left leg up, twist right, back to center, to the left. Get that ringing up, twist, exhale, really get that ringing out, try to get off the shoulders, try not to roll shoulder to shoulder, it's a little twist and a lift, just towards the thigh, up, I don't want you to think elbow to leg, chest to thigh, a few more here guys, one more each side, right, one more, left, back to center, extend the legs, grab behind, Pull yourself up. You can pull behind your thighs, if that's easier for you, lower left leg, or grab up on the calf and pull yourself up as long as you're neutral. Here we go, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Now you can do the double exhale. I just like to exhale and get all of my breath up. Switch, exhale, and just think deeper and longer leg. Rather than thinking kick, kick in so much, I like to think longer and belly and deeper. Now, keep going. We only have a few more. Get that nice reach, shoulders are down. Again, head can go down. Find that length, guys, in the legs. One more right, one more left. Bring them up. Lower the legs where you can hold them. Take the arms out, back the hundred, here we go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, blow, inhale, blow. Pump the arms, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, out, three more. Exhale, two more, out, last one, out, hold, can you lower the legs with control, all the way, all the way, and reach it back, give yourself a big stretch here, for a moment, big breath, Ooh. if you really want to work out in your abs, do that two more times. Plug your shoulders, squeeze your legs. Inhale, lift head and shoulders. Exhale, rolling all the way up. Flex your feet if you want to find your stretch. That feels good to you. Drop the head. Big breath. Ah, aren't those fun? <laughs> all right. Coming all the way up. Going to come on to... Actually, I'm going to start on my left hip. So coming on left side, going to have left leg forward, right leg is back. Going to do a stretch first, and then we're going to work kind of a pretzel and a tricep, single arm tricep movement. But let's get a little opening in the hip first, just before we start. So think a bit of our mermaid. Okay, right leg is back, uh, left is forward. I'm going to take my right hand and just bring it back a little bit, not very far. Lift your chest and push the hips up as you stretch the right arm over, looking towards the left hand, 
and then really tuck and squeeze your right side with your right butt cheek, and you should feel a nice opening along that whole right side of your body. And then come on down. So it gives a nice little opening here. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I know this one can be challenging. We won't be here too, too long. All right. So I'm gonna take my ankle and I'm gonna pull my leg back. So if I'm looking down at my leg, ideally I want my knee, hip, shoulder in a straight line. I really don't want the knee forward or you're gonna feel your hip. If you're pinching into your low back to even get in this position, I suggest actually coming down on your forearm to keep you a little longer and straighter and not arch your back, okay? So, from here, again, I'm gonna bring my leg back and bring your heel towards your butt and then set the foot down. All right, tuck your tail, squeeze your butt, lift your chest. I'm just gonna take my other hand right here or you can actually put it down on the ground, okay? Here we go, just gonna lift my knee. That's it, right knee only. Don't let the foot come off the ground. Keep the foot down for right now. I just really have my toes down, my heels actually lifted, right? You can, if you have that flexibility to keep the foot down, go for it, but I don't. So my toes are down, and I'm just feeling that little wrap from the hip. Keep the chest up again. Option is here, right? A lot of times, like for me, this feels better. I don't feel it in my back, right? I can tap into the glute a lot better pull up in the abs. Up to your body though, everyone's different, okay? So now you're gonna hold the knee up, squeeze your butt, pulse knee, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pull, pull up in the belly. Now without letting the knee come forward, can you now lift the foot up and hold, and now lower lift one, abs in, two, doesn't have to go super high, three, take note the four, is that knee behind you? Are you trying to kick your own butt? I sure hope so. The key to this is getting your heel towards your butt and you'll feel those quivers in your tissue here. Yeah, three more. Three, don't sink in that left shoulder. Two, hold. Now add an extension and a bend. Extend the right leg, bend, pull up. Stay long in your body, extend, extend. Abs pull in, give me four. Three, two, one. Keep the knee bent. Pull the heel. Even grab it if you need to. Pull it back. Flex your foot. Tuck your tail. Now squeeze your butt as you let go. And now I'm going to kick my butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it here. Pulse knee. Two, three, four. Get your heel closer. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower that leg down, press yourself up. Keep the leg where it is, okay? Take the arms out. From here, going to shift to the left, hand down, bend that elbow, straighten it up, pull back, okay? Shift, down, elbow, up. So my elbow is actually touching the floor when I go down, okay? And push away. Nothing too crazy, at least it shouldn't be. Watch you're not sinking into the shoulder though. So when you put your elbow down, it's not pinchy. Elbow, I'm pulling my elbow into my body. So it's more about the tricep, not the shoulder, okay? Now, I'm gonna stay over, bend and lift. Bend and lift, body is long, okay? As if you're in a little side plank. Again, get that shoulder down, squeeze the elbows in, down, press it away. Again, when I put my elbow down, trying to get as much as of a 90 degree angle from shoulder to elbow to really get that tricep down, up, four, three, two, push your whole palm down, one, halfway, hold it, just hold it, five, four, three, two, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up, and then just stretch that side over. Nice. All right, real quick before we move to the other side, take your right leg all the way around. Try to get both cheekies down where you can, and let's just get a quick little stretch 
on that side, pressing down through that hip. And then we'll do the whooping on the other side. Got my plan? All right, here we go. Switch it around. All right, right leg is forward, left one is back. We're gonna do that stretch first, okay? Take your right hand back, not very far, okay? Lift your chest and then bring your hips up and back and then look over towards your right hand as you really stretch that left arm. You should feel that left side because we just worked that left side as well on the triceps, okay? Tuck your tail, open up the hip and then bring it on back. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take my knee, bring it back without arching the back, right? If you need to come down, I'm gonna come on my form. It works better for me, might work better for you. But again, I need to get that leg back. Just find your butt. So it's your butt pulling that heel back. Now, keeping the toes down, lift the chest. You're just going to lift the knee. That's it. Just lift the knee. I don't care how high. Abs in as long as you're keeping everything straight. Please do not sink into that right shoulder. Think we're in a modified side plank position and we're squeezing our touch. And three, two, Hold, little pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it. Suck your abs in. Now we float the foot up. Make sure it didn't go anywhere. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. I'm going to flex my foot so I don't kick my fireplace. And squeeze it. Try to keep that hip open. You may have put your hand on your thigh. Make sure it's not moving forward. It's just a hamstring curl, really, is all we're doing here. Two more. Hold it, hold it. Squeeze your butt. Now I'm going to pull it in a little bit more. And now kick your butt. Kick your butt. Don't move your pelvis. Kick your butt. Kick your butt. Squeeze it. Kick. Imagine you got a ball behind your thigh. You're squeezing. Do you feel your hammy yet? Your butt. Three, two. Hold, pull, knee. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set it down. Come on out. Okay. Here we go. Arms are out long. Chest is up. Shift to the right. Hand down. Bend the elbow. Press it away. Lift up. Right? This is shouldn't be too difficult. Just prepping us. You can always stick to this, right? This is enough for your body. Right? One more. Down, up. Now I'm going to hold. Over, hold here. Might have to move my hand and open the chest and then just straighten and bend that elbow. A little crack. Bend that elbow here. <laughs> and breathe. You can look down, check it out. Make sure you're staying even. Right? The key to doing triceps is feeling as if your elbow is pulling in towards your body and down. Otherwise, our shoulder loves to take over and start to shrug. I want you to feel the whole side of the right side of your body and your tricep. We're coming to a hover here. Hold it. Five, four, abs in. Three, two, one. We pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and press. And Nice, stretch up over, big reach here, and breathe. And then come on up, swing the left leg around. Let's find that hip stretch. We'll do another little stretch here. Try to get both hips down, shoulders relaxed. Really press down through the foot and try to push your hip down to the ground. All right, guys. Like, what is on my pants? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> come on around. Let's come to one more uh, little forearm plank. Okay, just for a second, we'll be here. So press down. All right, here we go. Pull up into the belly, push down through your arms, and press out. Find that nice long plank. Find the squeeze into your armpits, and just feel like you're going to pull yourself forward and then push the mat forward. Pull body forward, push mat forward. Obviously, the feet are moving, but I want the upper body to do the job. Now, are your abs sucked in as you're doing this, or did you forget about them? Exhale. Pull your abs in, 
Squeeze your butt a little, make it help you. Three more. Two, one. Hold right here, tuck your toe, lift the hips a little, drop the hips to the right and lift them up. Drop them to the left and lift them up like a little rainbow. Drop and then lift. Try not to move the shoulders. Keep equal weight in the arms. Find your obliques and over and again. Over, one more time here guys. Right, left, and knees down. Find again your child's pose where you need it. Drop the head if that feels good. Stretch out through your upper girdle and come up. All right, we're coming to a full plank on the hands just for a moment, just to get our body lower down to the floor to do a little back work, okay? So we will be going straight down in one line. Important part, getting the hands in the right spot. Legs out, legs together, find your plank. Now, as my elbows bend into my body, tightly, right, they're not going out to the sides. I'm gonna lower down on one piece, and then hold it. Don't change anything once you get there. Slowly pull the elbows back, lower, all the way down. Now, once I'm here, I'm gonna roll my shoulders back, stretch one leg out at a time, and press the tops of the feet into the ground. Elbows are tight into the body. You should be in the correct spot, right? If you didn't change anything, collarbones are open, elbows are hovered, hands are pressed into the mat. Tuck your tail, reach the legs long. Inhale, just give me a little upper back movement here, and down. Inhale, lift, and down. Again, open up the chest, lift, and back. Breathe into it, inhale up, exhale down. Again, I'm not pushing from my hands. Only at the very end, just a little bit. Try to lead with your sternum and draw the shoulders down and back. I don't want them rolled forward. Roll them back, squeeze the elbows in. Shoulder blades are flat, not pinching necessarily, right? Neck is long. Two more. One more time. Now hold. Without, I'm not up high, I just have a little bit of a lift, so I'm not resting. I'm still in an active position, but not up, all the way up. Okay, tuck your tail. From here, squeeze your thighs and bring your right leg up as high as you can without your hip bones leaving the ground. And with that, you're feeling your low back. Now my right leg is up. I'm gonna take the left arm and slide it out, okay, and lift it up if I can and then lower and lift those limbs together. Two, three, if you need to bend the elbow, four, or open the arm wider, five, that's fine. Six, like a modified swimming. Nine, 10, bring them in, squeeze, tuck your tail, bring the left leg, not very high, just a little. Slide the right arm where you can hold it, feel that opposition. Abs in, here we go, hover the right arm and we lower and lift once. Two, Three, four, five, six, shoulders back, seven, eight, nine, ten, slide them back, tuck your tail a little bit more, chest doesn't have to go very high, okay? Right leg up, slide the left arm, okay? Pull your abs in, hover those limbs, okay? Now, can you get the left one up? And now slide the right arm out and lift it. And now start swimming. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Hold, slide the arms, lower the legs. Push up and round back. Where you need it, shell stretch, child's pose, whatever you need. I'm going to do a big shell stretch for me. Really stretch out my back. Drop the head. If you want to go all of the way back in a child's pose, be my guest. And then round all the way up. Shoulders roll around. All right, we're coming to standing. 
So actually, no, not yet. I'm gonna do one more thing on the bottom, sitting on our bottom. <laughs> okay. Then we'll come to standing to finish up. Okay. One more thing, because we still have some time. Have a seat. I have my feet a little apart. You could do this with legs together if you like that, that feels better for you. I have just a little space. Grab behind your thighs, lift yourself up. If uh, these bother your back, if you have a ball handy or a pillow, you can put it behind your back instead, okay? Lift up tall, drop into the belly, exhale, tuck your tail, and just roll back a little bit. I'm just off those six bones, not all the way back, top of my butt crack. Scoop the belly in, shoulders are down. Readjust your legs where you need. Feet stay planted. If they lift up, hip flexors take over. Draw belly in, take your arms out. From here, I'm going down an inch, exhale up. Just tiny crunches here. The idea behind this is the pelvis doesn't move. Imagine you have a very thick belt right across your pelvis, from the crease of your hips all the way to below your rib cage. Now I want to try to get my ribs up and over that belt without rocking. It's not an undulation, okay? It's because my abs are pulling in, it's pulling my chest forward as if we would normally do a crunch on our back. But I'm really activating deep and low. Pull up the pelvic floor here, guys. Shoulders are down. Three, two, one. Grab the thighs, lift up, open the knees apart. You know you can always grab your thighs too, right? If, that, if you don't have a ball or something behind your back and you need some support, grab your thighs. Especially if you feel this low back. You should not feel low back in these exercises. If you do, a couple things are going on, okay? You can always ask me. You're like, I feel my back, so tell me, okay? Ask me questions later on, okay? Exhale, we're going back down. Same position, little tuck. Scoop in the belly. I'm trying to elongate just a little bit back in that lumbar spine, just a little bit. Keeping the chest up. Yes, I'm going to feel these muscles supporting me around the rib cage. That's perfectly fine. Take the arms out, palms together, right out in front of you. From here, exhale, twist a little right, back to center. Don't move the legs, twist left. If it helps you to bring the legs together to keep them from moving, a lot of times that helps. Also, if you activate your inner thighs, if you're a hip flexor grabber, squeeze your inner thighs. You can put a pillow or a ball between your thighs and it makes a world of difference if you tend to grab, okay? Again, I do too. If you squeeze your butt too, that'll help and keep tucking. Again, I'm pushing my hands into each other as if I'm trying to resist them from each other as I twist. So can you push harder your hands into each other and pull your shoulders down? One more. Grab thighs, lift up, open knees to stretch out the hips. Yes, even if you can get out of your hips, they do grab still, mine do as well. But like I said, the more you can squeeze in, squeeze your butt, get those muscles around your pelvis to support you better. All right. Here we go, one more set, chest up, squeeze the thighs. Draw the belly in as you roll back that little bit, clamp down, squeeze the inner thighs. We're taking our hands back together in the center, push the palms in. Exhale, find your rotation to the right, only as far as you're not leaning to the left and your legs didn't change, okay? Down and up, a tiny increment, up. Your breath is what's assisting. Actually feel, as if your abs are pushing your breath out. Okay? Keep going. Fog a mirror with your breath if that helps you too. Three more. Two. One. Center, hold it. Lock and load those legs. Twist to the left. Watch you didn't lean more to the right. And then little lips. Bend down. Up and down. Make them tiny. Your pose doesn't move. It's solid. The legs are quiet. Shoulders down. Use your breath. Again, how much can you make just your abs? Do all the work. Four, three, two, one. Center, grab, and lift. All right. Ooh, we're done with those. <laughs> all right, give me a nice little stretch here. All right. 
Come on up. So point your feet down. Press yourself up however it feels best for you. Again, go slow so you don't get dizzy. All right, so I'm gonna stand sideways. If you have a wall next to you, you might want it for a little assistance. Like I have my mantle. So you might wanna start that way for some balance. So I'm gonna show you this sideways because I want you to see where my back is. Now my legs are going to be together. If this bothers your knees, have a little separation in your knees. You can also put a ball between your knees too. Not a very good one, not have a good one. Okay, from here, squeeze the legs. You're tall, belly in. Lift up onto your tippy toes. You're still in a straight line. Now from head to toe, it's gonna stay straight. I'm not gonna lean forward. I'm gonna feel like I'm sliding down the wall, like I'm gonna do a wall squat. But I might get to a point where all of a sudden I wanna do that. Don't do that, okay? So find it where I'm sitting on a little stool. My sits bones, I have a stool right there under my chair. So this is as far as my body will go. You can take the left or right arm, sorry, out to the side, shoulders down, belly in. Squeeze it, death out of your butt. If you're not shaking right now, squeeze harder. You're gonna go down an inch, up an inch. Belly in, again, it's not a squat, you guys. They're tiny little movements. It's, it's like a wall squat though, if I wanna be correct. But you're making sure your body is staying straight. Your abs are sucked in to support you. You're not leaning forward, so try to take that lean out. If that means you just bend a little bit, that's okay. Really push all your toes into the ground. My hand is very light, so if you're doing on a wall or whatever, it's light. It's only giving you that little bit of assistance, okay? Are you saying shut up and just count? Five more, five. Are we shaking yet? Four, I hope. Three, two, whole little ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straighten up, drop the heels, shake it out. I really hope you were shaking, because I was. All right, because I don't want to neglect the other side, I'm going to turn and have the right hand on, okay, and have the left turn on, all right? But here's our little change. I'm gonna look at my feet. Make a teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny, teeny V. Not a first position, tiny V, okay, you'll see. Now, again, squeeze, wrap your butt. Lift the heels a little bit. I don't have the heels as high this time. They're just in like an inch to hover, not way up top, okay? So I'm gonna really dig my heels together. Keep them glued, do not have them come apart. Same thing, tail to tail, or <laughs> head to tail, just gonna start to bend the knees forward. They're not opening wide, guys. To sit on my imaginary little stool. If I look down, my knees only opened a little bit, okay? Because they're tracking. No tucking, stay neutral. Dig your heels together, feel that wrap. Left arm can go out, and just tiny little up and downs. Not very big. Again, no arching your back, feel your back. Are you arching? Please don't, use your abs. Do not lean forward. You can always go to the wall and do a wall squat if you have trouble in this position to keep your back straight, okay? To build up to that, okay? Take your heels, guys, squeeze your butt. Don't let your knees spread apart. They're only a little open, not very far, okay? Light hand. Keep going, are we shaking yet? Full belly in, I hope. We're quivering. Few more, tiny, tiny. Shoulders down, pull, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze up, drop the heels, shake it out. Give them some love. Okay, while we're standing, let's take our legs out to a second position. Shoulders roll down. Find your turn up that works for you. So let's all bend for a second. Make sure again, upright, I am not leaning forward. Unless this bugs your knees. Here's a, um, a little modification. You can turn your feet in and sit back in what we're gonna do, right? Like this, if that bothers your knees. If turned out going into a straight plie hurts you, please do that way instead, okay? All right, here we go. Either way, arms are up, chest is up. Find your bend. 
hold it wherever you go. Look at your legs. Knees, do not let them roll in. Use your butt. Push them out. Push through your pinky toe. That's going to fire up your butt. Arms are out. Chest is up. And we're just going to do those tiny little movements again like we did on the side. We won't be here long. I'm running out of time and I'm going to stretch. Okay, so don't worry. It'll be done soon enough. Before you know it, we'll be done. Right? Squeeze. Abs in. Are we feeling our legs? I hope so. Chest is up. Belly, and let's just do 10 more. 10, 9, 8, shoulders back, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, hold, we pulse, one, two, hello, can go, three, four, can go lower, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. All right, guys, bring your legs in carefully, shake them out, shake them, shake them, shake them. All right, make yourself, make yourself, make your way down to the ground. Let's do our little butterfly stretch. While we're here, stretch out those thighs. Hands can go on the ankles. Chest is lifted. Go ahead, bend the elbows into the knees and press open. And just find a nice little stretch through your hips. And then if you'd like to completely fold over, go for it. You can stretch the arms out. And then slowly come back up. You can do one or both legs. You can have just the right leg out, okay? And the left one in, or you can have both legs out. I will switch you um, if you're doing one leg, okay? So find where you can sit tall, legs out if you can sit tall. Or you can bring them in a little narrow, right? That's okay too. Just watch your toes are facing the ceiling. Right hand on right leg. And we lift up over to the right, big stretch to the right, and breath. Anchor down through the left hip, release your neck, find that lateral stretch on the left side. And then slowly come up, always move slowly in these stretches, they're big stretches. Rotate your chest to the thigh, slowly come down, right, they're very big stretches and hold. So always move slowly into these stretches. Okay? Think a little less about rounding your back. Don't worry about how close you get to your leg. Think more of extending your spine and stretching through that left side because this is what prevents us too. It's the side body to get over as well as the hamstring. Okay? Watch your other leg it didn't change. And then carefully walk yourself up. If you had just your right leg out, switch. So left leg, okay? Readjust where you need to, okay? Left hand on left leg and lift up, over, and breathe. Every time you breathe into it, maybe you sink down a little more. Can you push the opposite hip down? Release your neck. Very slowly, help yourself up. Don't yank yourself up. Rotate your chest over the left leg. Again, go where your body goes. Maybe this side's tighter. Maybe it's looser. Breathe. Couple deep breaths. And then again, help yourself up real slow, all the way up. Help your leg. Give it some assistance to bring it in. Just gonna open that one up and then bring this one in. Good. And then maybe just walk around a little bit. From here, press the feet into each other, lift the chest up, and then exhale, tuck and around and stretch between your shoulder blades and your back. One more time, inhale up. And exhale. And back. All right, thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope you had fun. Fun little Pilates day. Thanks, guys.